I'm actually a graduating senior in the art practice department. I'm also part of the honors program in that department. So for the honors program, uh, there are nine students that are admitted each semester and we get our own show at the end of the semester in a studio space the entire semester to sort of, you know, prep for that show. Um, and for the first time ever, I was going to um, sort of create, you know, um, a, a gallery space uh, that was inclusive of the blind and visually impaired community. And that was going to happen through the implementation of Braille um, by having an audio tour that included all nine um, artworks by also um, having um, sort of barriers around each artwork so that when an individual is um, with a cane is interacting, is trying to navigate the space, they would um, they would be able to detect the barrier and that would inform them that, you know, there's an artwork behind that. And for my work specifically, it was going to be an installation um, that was uh, going to activate anyone's, you know, like senses when they walk in. So it was a sensory experience, a multimodal experience. There was going to be scent, sound, there was going to be a sculpture. Um, individuals could also touch my work, which is very, you know, like anti-museum. Um, my hope was just, you know, for the show to be really inclusive of anyone that walks into the gallery space and not just not just um, individuals that were cited. Due to the coronavirus, our honor shows actually um, postponed slash canceled as well as our senior show. And my hope is for the gallery to really consider some of the ideas that were brought forward by the student body and to implement them, especially something like accessibility for the uh, blind and visually impaired, because that's something that shouldn't be optional. You know, uh, these places need to be more um, inclusive and welcoming to any individual that walks into the gallery space. The graduation situation is actually quite upsetting, um, especially because as a graduating senior, that's something we look forward to the entire year. Um, I was actually just telling my mom the other day, I never really graduated <laughs> because I graduated a year early from high school and then I went to film school and then I transferred to Berkeley. So I was really looking forward to this graduation. <laughs> but if that's what it takes, you know, canceling, potentially canceling graduation to be able to make sure that everyone is safe and healthy, then so be it. Because our health and safety is way more valuable than graduation. Um, and so I hope the school really makes the right decision with, you know, um, what's ideal for everyone.